Hi guys! Do you know, honestly, I was gonna say welcome back to my channel, but actually it feels like I'm the one that needs to be welcome back to my channel. I have been away for so long. I think apart from maybe two videos, I have not uploaded a single video since maybe the end of December, beginning of January. And that's been for loads of, loads of reasons. But I have done a look on this kind of greeny, um, dark halo eye. I know that you can't really see it because my friend just now, but there will be a picture or two up on my Instagram, which you can always have a wee look at as well. And obviously it'll be like the thumbnail and stuff. And you'll see how I do the look when you watch the video as well. It feels so weird being back in front of the camera. It feels like I'm back doing my first ever video um, over a year ago now. And I've gotten the nerves again. I would like last year, I was getting more comfortable being in front of the camera. I was still super nervous, but it's like, I've gone back to that really shy person and I just, I need to take my boyfriend's uh, advice and just kind of relax and just be myself. And I, like I say, I really do hope that you enjoy this video. Bye. <sighs> so as you can see, I've already done my brows and primed my lids. I've just used a foundation to do to do that. Um, I've also just primed my face using a moisturiser so you won't see me do that later. I'm going to actually today recreate a look that I filmed ages ago but I can't actually post it because it's so old and outdated. So I'm going to take my NYX Basics Ultimate Palette, it's the bright one and I'm just going to take this cream here on a big fluffy blending brush. I'm just going to pop it in the crease here and then I'm going to bring it down into the outer and inner corners and just make sure that that is packed on with colour. We really want it to be really vibrant, but we also want to make sure that it is blended out as well. Just make sure that it's a nice even colour all the way along and that the shape is nice and even too. Once you've done that, you just want to make sure that you get a clean blending brush and then just make sure, run that over the edge just to make sure that it's all nice and evenly blended out. And then after that, I'm going to go into my Jaclyn Hill palette and take Enchanted, which is this dark brown shade here. And I'm going to take this on a smaller brush. I'm going to take it on like a bullet brush. Um, because we just want this to go on like the outsides first and this colour is so so dark so you only need a little bit and then on the inner corner too it's okay that we've not blended it out we're just kind of placing the colour down and then we're going to blend it out later and then we're going to get the brush that we used before and just lightly go over that colour to blend it out and as we're doing this when we're going back and forth as well it will connect and if you feel the need to as well you can go back into that lighter green just to help with that blending now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my NYX eyeshadow base in white and I'm going to take a very small flat packing brush and I'm going to just get a little bit of this white on here and just kind of dab it on my eye like down there. And then if I open it and just look straight and kind of blink, I then get the line of where like my creases would go. So then that gives me a template for how high up I want this to go. And then I just use whatever's left on my brush. Now you only need a little bit to set this base just a bit whiter and a bit lighter so the colour that we're going to put on next just really pops and I'm just kind of pressing this down especially when I get to the edges just so it's not as harsh and when I get to the top I don't want like a solid line like carving it out I just kind of want like a rough line and then again, going back in with that big fluffy brush, just over the edges with whatever's left on the brush, just kind of like blend, help blend with that so it's not so harsh. 
and with the same flat packing brush that we used to put on that white base I'm going to be taking this colour here from the Jaclyn Hill palette and just popping that in the middle. I've not put any Fix Plus or any setting spray or anything on my brush as well. I'm just going in dry. And again with the light green from the NYX palette I'm just going to run over the edge. And right in the centre of where we put that pool party shade, I'm going to be taking my Moonchild Highlighter Palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills and just taking this Clover shade, a uh, Lucky Clover shade right here, which is this beautiful green highlight. And I'm just going to put that just in the centre of where this pool party shade is, just to kind of give it a little bit more of a brightness. And then you want to wipe away any fallout. And I'm just going to take uh, just a, a black eyeliner. I'm just going to use my Kat Von D Ink Liner in Trooper. And I'm just going to create a thin line where the lash band is. I've just wiped away any fallout or any kind of overshadow I had under here. And now we're going to move on to the base. So I'm going to be taking, I've got a new foundation actually that I've been using for a wee while now and I really like it. I'm now going to be taking my number 7 Instant Radiance foundation and um, this is kind of a more medium coverage foundation with a more natural slash dewy look, dewy finish rather. Um, and I've really been enjoying this kind of more than my matte foundations. Um, I just, I, I always used to be like a matte type of girl but I've actually been really loving kind of the more dewy look recently because I am still really young so I just feel like the dewy look kind of just complements my youthful skin better personally anyway just felt like matte was still was quite aging but if I do ever want a matte look with this foundation you just put powder on top and then you're all set to go um, so it's not so bad. Got the best of both worlds, really. Just look how shiny and wet that looks. And then for concealer, I'm going to be taking my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NW20. Um, this is a different shade to what I used to use, um, but I'm going to go back to my older shade, I think. Because the other shade that I was using is like lighter and brighter, but this is actually more my actual skin colour. So, I don't know yet, because it still does brighten up my face, as you can tell, but I don't know. I think it all depends on like my makeup, like if I've got like a bold makeup look like this, then it does. But if I'm doing something more natural, then doesn't and I'm just gonna because the concealer and the foundation are so wet I'm just gonna let that sit for a minute before I put any powder on otherwise I'm gonna be left with like brush marks because I use a brush I used to use my beauty blender but it would wreck my beauty blenders I'm gonna take some of my no color powder from RCMA and I'm just gonna dab this underneath Just gently. I just only put this where I've put concealer. I don't put this anywhere else on my face. For contour today, I'm going to be taking my NYX HD blush in tote and I'm just going to use the brush and just press it down first so I don't get any brush marks or streaks and then rub and blend. I was watching a Nikki Tutorials video and she said that no matter what foundation she uses, she puts powder on her face up 
apart from like the cheekbone area where she puts her highlight because it makes it more like popping and stuff. So I tried it and I was like, especially with my dewy foundation and I was like, oh my God, it's so good. And I'll still contour my forehead despite the fact that I've got a fringe, just in case the wind blows it or whatever. For blush today, I'm going to be taking my Stila Heaven's Hue Highlighter in Kitten. It's a little bit too dark for me to wear as a highlighter. So I just like to use this brush with this one. I don't know why. I've got another brush that I use with the blushes, but with this one, I like to use this one. I don't know why. But I really like this. Again, when I was with the matte, foundations I was totally into the matte blushes as well and I still like a matte blush but I actually really like blushes that I've got a bit of a shimmery up here now oh how likes and stuff change then for my cheeks I'm going to take a little bit of that Lucky Clover highlight that we used on our eye just a little bit there And I'm also going to take some of my Mary Luminizer as well and just put that a little bit on top. Make it a bit more wearable and a bit more subtle. Subtle, she says, with a highlight like this, but you can, yeah, you get what I mean. And I'm going to take the rest of that and just put that on the rest of my face. So, you know the drill. You know the places. A little bit on my chin. And what I do, because I've got this really matte bit in my forehead where the powder was, I like to just put a little bit on the top of here. But hardly anything just to make it look like I've not put any matte powder on it at all. Now for back under my eyes I'm going to go back into this palette here and I'm just going to take that green shade again. Just run it. And then I'm going to take a smaller brush and I'm going to take that dark green shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette again and I just nearly dropped it. Oh my god. That would have been disastrous. And I'm just going to take a very small amount and run that all along the lower lash line. Just lightly. I'm going to take my round the clock liner from Bare Minerals. And I'm going to have to get really close to the... Um, I'm going to get really close to the mirror for this. So all I've done is I've just gone along the lower waterline with the pencil just to deepen that up a bit. I'm going to put on some mascara. Just my telescopic mascara. If you're gonna put on falsies, just put on like a light thin layer. However, if you're not wearing falsies, curl your lashes and then obviously put on like a good layer of the mascara. For my inner corner highlight, I'm going to use that green highlighter. And for my brow bone highlight, if I can find the brush, I'm going to use Mary Luminizer. I need to wash so many of my makeup brushes, it's like, not fair. So to finish off this look, I have just put on um, the Eleanor Style Lashes by Shop Sila, And I've also put on the NYX extra creamy lipstick in the shade Summer Love which is this really kind of nice nude shade and it's not matte as well so I thought it would go really well with this look. I've also done my hair as you can see because you're obviously not blind. Um, and this is the completed look. I've obviously also sprayed some MAC Fix Plus. Ow! Some MAC Fix Plus so obviously this keeps this look all day. Uh, or you can just use whatever setting spray that you want and I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!